points it as a simply fall off over time. The beautiful thing about that system is, yeah, it traps all that, that, that dust in that tube around those lines in the three sets. And it gets to a point where there gets to be a fair amount out. So generally the recommendations are what we do in our system in the nurseries when we do it, we'll turn the system off once halfway through the nursery, usually right before a mass vaccination event, and we'll go ahead and clean that system off. What's kind of interesting about that is though, when we do that, because of the way that all those, that dust has now been clumped together, when you turn that on and blow it off, it essentially just falls right down through the slats. It's not like you go under the floor, it gets all race suspended in the air. You blow it, it essentially falls off, falls down through the, through the wire floors of the nursery. Yeah, that's, that's what we've done today. We'll generally turn up the ventilation, we blow it off, but it, it's really interesting to say it, you know, there isn't really that age you'd expect to see when you, when you go ahead and do that. Yeah, we did not take any manure measurements on that, but that is an interesting question. Howard? Do you have any data on the system? I'll tell you what, Howard, we did, because we did this in a commercial building, we didn't have the opportunity to measure it, so we don't have any data. And generally, most of the stuff that we do, 75 to 80% of the time, if you give an average daily gain performance improvement, we tend to get a few years of improvement along the way. But we didn't really have the opportunity to measure it, so we don't. Yeah, that's a good question, Doug. I, I'm not exactly sure. It might be a question for John and Matt. They might be a little bit closer to that. I'm not sure exactly where those measurements were taken. Can't think of that tool. Well, that's in your operation. Thank you.